Tesla has just patented. Well, super simple feature, which is kind of a basic idea that makes a lot of sense. It makes so much sense, I just don't understand why no one else has done it yet. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to see you. And I, I find this feature kind of exciting. It's sort of like, it's just a little simple thing, but actually it makes total sense. And frankly, why would no one have done this? I mean, for example, in the BYD electric car that I own, the screen can rotate. It sits horizontally. You can rotate it to being vertical. To be honest, there's really no advantage to that at all. I've, it's like a party trick. If anything, I find it irritating when I accidentally press the button because the button's on the main home screen. Sometimes I accidentally press it and I go, ah, oh, the screen's moving. It's not really a feature that has any practical purpose. If, if BYD had have actually installed this feature, I would be using it all the time. But sadly, they didn't. Tesla has patented a dual axis rotational mechanism for the ability to rotate the screen of the Model S and Model X, say Tasmanian, but I don't think that's true because frankly, um, this mechanism would work exactly the same way for a Tesla Model 3 and a Model Y. I don't see why Tesla wouldn't use the same parts for both cars. So I believe this actually would go into Cybertruck, Model S, Model X, Model Y, Model 3. It just makes sense. Now, the possibility of this new feature was noted by Sandy Munro at the beginning of this year, but at that time it had not yet been implemented. But interestingly, it had kind of half been implemented, but not all the way. Clearly Tesla hadn't done all the work yet, so they installed the part that they'd done the work on and not the rest to make the feature actually work. I think um, you can see why Tesla does things this way, although it'd be, you'd be a bit like miffed if you were an owner of the car. You'd probably think, oh, this is weird that it's got this part here in the, the screen mechanism, which isn't being used but it doesn't make any real difference to the owner. But it's going to be pretty cool when you have these features or this feature in particular in your car. It's going to make the screen much more usable, I think. In early 2022, Sandy Munro tore down the Model S Plaid and learned it had a few secrets. This was one of them. While examining the dashboard, experts discovered that the center screen has a hidden mechanism that allows it to be rotated and adjusted to suit owner preference. So not only rotated up or down, but rotated towards you so that you can see it better. A more detailed study of the mechanism showed that some components were missing at the time. Experts suggested that two motors should be installed there, each of which would be responsible for turning the screen in a certain direction. In addition, the screen motion guiding element is missing. After some manipulations, Munro's team demonstrated and explained how this feature would actually work once it's ready to go. Although some components, say Tasmanian, were already installed to make the screen rotate, others were missing which implied that the company would improve the cars in the future. On the 24th of November, 2022, the patent office published Tesla's dual axis rotational mechanism patent, which was filed on the 16th of May, 2022, and it included an earlier patent from 2021. So Tesla has clearly been working on this feature for a while. In it, Tesla explained that some components of the car, such as a screen, can be used by both the driver and passengers, and turning it towards the one who uses it will be more convenient and will make just more sense. This would especially make sense in the Model S and the Model X when you're actually driving, because obviously they still have a digital screen in front of them, whereas the Model 3 and the Model Y don't have that digital screen behind the steering wheel. So when you're driving, of course, for those cars, you'd really only be able to turn it towards the driver or have it where it usually is right in the middle of the car, because otherwise, you would, the driver wouldn't be able to see what speed they're going. It wouldn't make sense. But of course, being able to turn it towards the driver though, in the Model 3 and the Model Y would make sense. Have it flat or turn it towards the driver. And especially if it was like more sunny day, maybe there's a bit of glare, it would make sense to be able to do that. In order to make this possible, Tesla created a special dual axis rotational mechanism that provides movement along an X axis, a Y axis or a Z axis. The images in the patent showed the display device is mounted on rotation mechanisms that facilitates a dual axis rotation utilizing a single actuator, dual rotation joints, and associated linkages. The rotation component further includes at least one additional floating joint that provides additional tension forces relative to a third axis. Still further, in accordance with further embodiments, a control component can be utilized to generate control signals relating to relation of the single actuators, such as establishing control positions and duty cycles. Really interesting here that Tesla have actually installed this mechanism or part of it well before the actual patent was granted. Makes me wonder if that's part of Tesla's development process to install parts before the patent is even granted 
And then once it is, make them actually operational. Maybe, I'm not sure. Either way, this feature would be way better than the current feature I have in my PYD, which is, you know, it's fine, it's a party trick, but this would be much more practical. I can see a lot of automakers just going, why didn't we do that? Why didn't we think of that? It makes total sense to be able to move your screen in that way. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.